Hello Stoke community, welcome to another Starbase UGC video tutorial. Tonight we're going to have some fun with NPCs, uh, NPC idle animations, NPC chat animations, and chat bubbles. So I did a few silly things that I'll show to you first of all. And so this is just an interior and I find this guy, what's he doing? He's hammering and he's screaming, are you going to answer that? Reminiscent of uh, Data's dream sequence. Okay, what else do we have? We have... Then she asked me, do I need company? No, thank you. What's this guy? He's obviously scared of something. Crewman. Crewman, what are you scared of? Something's wrong with him. Now this guy just seems to be levitating. And he says, I am of the body. Uh, one more guy. I'll take you home again, Kathleen. And then he drinks. Okay, those are so, a few silly things I did to the NPCs. Um, it's kind of rem reminiscent of uh, all those episodes of Star Trek where your crew goes crazy. Um, either drunk or under the influence of some kind of alien or spore or whatever. Uh, let me show you how I did that. Let's just let's do one on our own. So I'll go to NPC groups and I'll pick an animal single targ. Oops. I don't want that. I want that. Okay, so right now he's a single targ. I'm going to rename him Orion Slave Girl. And I'm going to change the costume of the actor. Well, first I'm going to change the name of the actor to Orion Slave Girl. Do the same, that's just for organization, then I'll do the same for how it shows in the game. Orion Slave Girl. Click to select costume. Let's do... Orion Instant Slave Girl Female 1. Now let's go back to her group. I'm going to pull this up so you can see more. Um, now we have a lot of different entries here, or options. And a lot of these options are fully explained in a sticky post at the Stowe forums in the Foundry discussion area. Um, combat entry text, this is what um, an NPC mob will say once they come into conflict with you. The wander, if you set it to true, that will make the NPC wander around or patrol. Um, it, it, can, it can't be tested. It, it, um, it only works after you publish the map, um, and I hear that it doesn't work right now at all anyway, so we're not going to deal with that. What we are going to deal with is enable chat, and I'm going to set chat to true. Then the chat duration, five seconds is a little too long, so I'm going to do um, three seconds. The chat wait, now if this is set to zero, the NPC doesn't chat at all, but if it's set a little higher, it means that as the NPC cycles through all its available animations and options and wandering and, and all that, the wait is how often it will come back to chat. So I'm going to set it at 5 because I don't want it to do it too often. Chat animation and let's, since it's Orion Slave Girl, let's have her blow me a kiss. 
And when she blows me a kiss, she says, oh, is that a phaser in your pocket? Okay, now when she's not chatting, she's doing her idle animation. And the idle animation, I want to set to a dance. So let's do dance seductive. And the weight of the idle, well, I want I want her to idle more than I want her to chat, so I'm going to turn that up a bit. Um, okay, and that's that's all I'm going to do. Now let's let's see what she looks like. Let's see how she acts. There's my Orion slave girl. You know, it's a little too dark. I'm gonna turn this up. And there's my Orion slave girl. She's dancing and she's dancing. So if I stop to watch her dance, she distracts me. Eventually she asks, blows me a kiss and asks, is that a phaser in your pocket? Then she goes back to dancing again. Alright, so that's basically how to add an idle animation, a chat animation, a chat bubble, and to mess around with the weights of each one uh, to determine how often the NPC speaks and what their most likely default behavior is. I hope that's helpful to somebody. Um, please leave feedback on the blog or the forums, and uh, please also leave requests for future tutorials. Thank you.